DJI drone users worldwide that use an Android device to fly are having problems when it comes to the DJI Fly app. The issue seems to be a problem where as soon as you actually open the app, it is immediately shutting itself back down and basically not allowing you to do anything with your drone. So what I'm going to do on this video is just briefly explain what the issue is and of course try to give not a perfect solution but at least uh, a way of getting you back in the air again. So let's get into it. So of course this only affects people that are using Android devices to fly their drones and of course it is not actually affecting everybody there are still plenty of people out there where this is completely unaffected but what it seems to be is a compatibility issue between the DJI Fly app and the latest version of Android which is Android 12. It seems that some device manufacturers have pushed out some updates recently which has basically rendered the DJI Fly app pretty useless. Needless to say of course if you do have uh, an iPhone to fly you will be unaffected and of course not to mention if you do uh, have a DJI Mini 3 and you are using the RC controller this of course will not affect you either. And one thing I want to quickly get out there is the fact that this isn't actually a DJI problem of course there's been no update to the DJI Fly app it is more the updates uh, that manufacturers have brought to Android 12 over the past couple of days and the reason why I wanted to mention this is because many people people uh, have gone to my video that I did previously uh, where I showed you how to actually install the app on certain devices where it just wasn't installing and many of you have been commenting on that video to say that it's not actually working and there's problems etc etc and unfortunately it's a completely unrelated issue that video was more to do with getting the actual app installed on this device um, or an Android device uh, where people was having problems whereas this is a completely unrelated issue and it is is more a actual compatibility problem with of course the actual operating system so what is the solution then and sadly um, in terms of opening up the DJI flight app on these Android devices where it is crashing uh, one possibility is to revert your phone back to factory settings but of course that's a bit extreme and you're going to lose all of your uh, settings photos everything basically and um, so that's not an ideal situation unfortunately it does appear that we are going to have to to sit and wait uh, for DJI to launch a new version of the Fly app which is compatible with the changes that Android have made on certain people's devices. So Gavin I hear you say at the beginning of the video you said you were going to provide a solution to get me flying again and of course I am but with a little caveat because DJI is still um, in the early releases of the DJI Mini 3 Pro and of course the Mavic 3 unfortunately this solution is not going to work so of course unless you have some sort of smart controller or the RC controller unfortunately um, you may well be grounded at this current moment in time if you have an Android 12 device and wanting to fly the Mavic 3 or the Mini 3 Pro there's nothing I can do to help that however of course when DJI launched the SDK which is the software development kit I mean third party apps to work with their drones such as the DJI uh, Mini 2, the Mavic Mini, the Mini SE etc etc now the quickest and most simple solution to get you flying again is by downloading a third party app such as Rainbow. This is one I've selected specifically, okay? And this, uh, as you can see on screen, comes with two versions. There is a paid version, but there, of course, is a free version. Now, even this free version, if we pop up a list of drones it is actually compatible with, you can see it is everything from the DJI Mini 2 to the old Phantoms and even the Mavic Air. Uh, so, certainly, uh, like I say, apart from those that have the Mini 3 Pro or the Mavic 3, this app can get you working again. Or, of course, there are other third party apps which is my personal favourite such as Litchi and the reason why I'm saying this last is because you do have to pay for it um, in your Play Store but of course as I've covered greatly on this channel I personally think that the Litchi app is better than the DJI Fly app and you get all sorts of options such as GPS follow to be able to follow cars you get active track you get focus track and all sorts of other goodies such as waypoints which is something many people want so of course if you want to know all about Litchi please do go check out that playlist and I'll leave a link here so you can go check that out once you've done this but essentially I just wanted to explain what is going on why it's only affecting some of course if you are running a older version of Android such as Android 11 it will not affect you 
and some older devices uh, completely unaffected as well. It does seem to be primarily Android 12 after manufacturers launched a recent update. Okay, But of course, hopefully by watching this video you can now see that there are solutions and of course please do make sure uh, you are taking great caution if you are using an app uh, to fly your drone that you have not used before and make sure you familiarise with yourself with all of the features but of course something like Rainbow at least as a free app you can download it will enable you to get in the air so hopefully you liked this video if you found it useful uh, please do give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're awesome until next time see you again soon